Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? So good. Very, very good. Very and, good. And, and happy too. Okay, it's nice. You, teacher? I'm happy too. What about your days? My day, it was very busy. Really? Interesting. Yes. I had a lot of work. Me too, teacher. I'm really yes. busy. I had a li uh, really busy day. Ah, okay. But the most I... important is that you are happy. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I, I took a shower one hour ago. Oh, excellent. And at 4 p.m. maybe, I went to Rome. I excellent. went to Rome. Yes. Rome. But it was it's a okay. nice idea. Okay. It's a nice... It's nice. nice. Yes, teacher. Well, teacher, the the you send the the the, the, the extra of, material. The extra material of dear doesn't it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. I wrote yeah. the three page, and it's easy to understand the yes. use of dear or do and, and that's. I choose some information that is very very useful for you. Right, I, I think yes. so. Yes. Sometimes we have to dedicate many, many time in order to to recognize how to use this kind of verb. But in three page, I learned really easy the use of do, did, and does. Yes. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're welcome. What about Jessica? How are you, Jessica? Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> tired. Very tired. Okay. Very tired. So, but yes. you need to take, take medicine. Um, okay. Está tomando medicina. Yes. Yes. Okay. But thanks for, for here for a state with, with us is very very values <laughs> okay gracias por estar entre nosotros mire que la extrañamos ay sí me hace falta We miss también you. yes aquí estamos okay it is very important and thanks a lot yes thank you okay you're welcome now how are you ever how was your day How are you ever? I fine, thank you. Okay, excellent. What about Luis Montano? How are you? Luisito Montano is disappeared. Okay. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Are you okay? Estaba en una llamada ahorita. Ah, ok. <risa> Ay, disculpe. No, there is no problem. Ok. But are you ok? Yes. ¿Está bien? Yes. Ok, excellent. Now, did you remember what was the, our topic yesterday? Can you tell me? Yes. Repeat, please. Did you remember? No? Yes or no? ¿De qué hablamos ayer? Someone help me, please. Recuerdan los de qué hablamos ayer. Los verbos y, y los, los verbos los del pasado, teacher. Excellent. The verb in past, los regulares, right? Okay. Here we have simple past statements with regular verbs. Do you remember about regular verbs? ¿Cuáles son los verbos yeah, regulares? Yeah, okay. ¿Cuáles son los verbos regulares? When we include uh, ed at the end, teacher. ed at the end, excellent. Yes, esos son los regulares. When we add ed at the end, excellent. 
Here we have the formula. Subject, in this case, is I. Verb in past tense, in this case, is in this case is studied. Studied. Studied because the verb is in past and complement. Complement. Right. Verb in past tense plus complement. Plus complement. Second one, you watched television. You is the, is the subject. Watched is the verb in past tense. Television is the complement. Third one, we shopped for groceries. We is the subject. Shopped is the verb in past tense. For groceries is the complement. Now, listen the audio and read at the same time, please. Simple, okay, past, the same and with regular verbs. Please pay attention. Simple past. Simple past statements. Let me see another thing. It's okay, Dish. Okay. Regular verbs. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't I study, study on Sunday. Saturday. I didn't study you watched Saturday. television. You we didn't watch television. a movie. She stayed home. She, she didn't stayed home. stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. W. Watched. W A T C H E D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Okay. Do you want to listen again? Quieren escucharlo una vez más? For me, it's okay, teacher. It's okay. For the rest of the students, it's okay? Yes, yes or no? Okay. Now. Okay, here we have simple past statement, regular verbs. Here we have different answers. Acá nosotros tenemos... La primera fórmula es con el verbo en pasado. First is subject, that is I. Verb in past tense is here, studied. And complement is on Sunday. Now, when is negative, esto lo vimos ayer, pero eso es como un repaso para poner en la fórmula. Here we have in negative. In negative, first, subject, in this case is I, subject, plus auxiliar did, is here, did, plus not, didn't. Aquí es el not pegado, solo que le pusimos la apóstrofe, de N apóstrofe T, didn't, es en negativo. El, aux, el auxiliar did plus not, plus verb in present. Be careful with this formula. El verbo aquí va en presente. Miren, cuando es negativo, siempre el verbo va a ir en presente, porque el auxiliar lo lleva antes. El auxiliar en este caso es did que está en pasado, 
Por lo tanto, el verbo que sigue después del not siempre va a ir en presente. Plus complement. I didn't study on Saturday. I didn't. El did es el auxiliar. El not es la negación. After verb in present. In this case, it's study. El verbo en presente es study. Y el complement que es on Saturday. Yes? Here, in the spelling, we have watch. There is the verb in present and watch. There is the verb in past. Exercise in present. Exercised in past. Study in present. Studied in past. Stayed in, in present. Stayed in past. Shop in present. Shopped in past. Now, here we have didn't. Equals did not. Esto significa que lo puede poner usted contractado, así como lleva acá la N apóstrofe T, y lo puede poner desunido, el did y el not. Is the same. Es igual. El didn't o did not. Didn't, did not. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que aquí lo estamos contractando. Va contractado. Y aquí va completo. Did not. Solo que acá el not va pegadito al did y aquí va separado. Did not. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any questions about this formula? No. No. Not sure. Can you tell me one, one example too? Can, do, can you tell me one example for regular verbs? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes, please. Tell me, Nazario. Yeah, okay. I worked yesterday. I work. Worked yesterday. Worked yesterday. Work. Work. Yesterday. I worked yesterday. Yo trabajé I ayer. And in negative. In negative. I didn't work. I didn't yeah. work. Yesterday. Yesterday. Tenemos interferencia. There is an interference. Okay, thanks. I worked yesterday. I didn't work yesterday. Is okay or no? Alguien dígame si está bien o no las oraciones. Tenemos dos. Dice, yo trabajé ayer y aquí dice, aquí está en, en negativo. Yo no trabajé ayer. Necesito que alguien me diga si está bien o no las dos estructuras. Yes, teacher. The, yes, the, teacher. The, the, the are okay. Yes, both are okay. Porque aquí va el verbo en, aquí cumple las estructuras, ¿verdad? Tenemos el verbo en presente porque lo está negando. Yeah. Can you tell me another, please? Another example. Another sentence. Sentence. Who, ¿Sí? teacher? Mm, cualquiera, menos usted porque usted ya me dio la primera. Yeah. Volunteer, please. Usen cualquier Teacher, verbo. Yes. Sorry. Can be the examples with the verbs that are using in this example. The verbs. Uh -huh. For example, <laughs> study, watched, yes. stayed. Yes. Yes, there is no problem. Yes. No problem. Okay. No. Okay. So vamos then to be I studied, studied. Yes. For my for my exam. For my exam. Exam. Uh -huh. And the negative form is will be I didn't I didn't study for my exam. Okay. okay. I didn't study for my exam. Okay. 
Oh, for my test, también puede ser examen o test. Yes, I studied for my exam. Yo estudié para mi examen. I didn't study for my exam. Yo no estudié para mi examen. ¿Alguien me puede decir si está bien o no la estructura? Yes, teacher. Yes. Si no, antes se la puse el peligro del peligro. Por esto de formula, teacher, both are... Both are okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, is it clear? Yes. Está yeah. claro, ¿verdad? Yes, Do teacher. Do you have any question? No. Okay. Now, we continue with... Let's look at me higher and now. Simple past statement, irregular verbs, irregular verbs. Lo que acabamos de ver son los verbos regulares. Ahorita vamos con los verbos irregulares. What is the difference? ¿Cuáles son los verbos irregulares? Can you tell me? What are irregular verbs? The irregular verbs change the structure, to the original structure. Yes, change the structure. Okay, here we have the first example, but I need to listen to the audio and read at the same time, please. Thanks. Okay, with irregular verbs. Simple past statement. Simple past statements. statements. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I did I my didn't homework. Do laundry. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Mm, you didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't we met our meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay. If you see, if you pay attention, here we have both structure. Did my homework and didn't do laundry. Las dos estructuras que acabamos de ver. In this case, did, aquí el did no está trabajando como auxiliar. ¿Se ¿Recuerdan que les mencioné que el do y el did es igual, ¿verdad? El do se usa en presente y el did en pasado, pero cuando se trata del verbo. ¿Cuál es el do? Too, yes, el do significa hacer como verbo, a saber. Se llama, el, el do significa hacer. En este caso estamos usándolo como verbo, no como un auxiliar. Si digo, I did my homework, what is the meaning of I did my homework? Yo hice mi tarea. Hice mi tarea. Yo hice mi tarea o hice mi tarea. I didn't do laundry. What is the meaning? Yo estuve lavando. Yo no la ve. No, no estuve lavando. Yo no, yo, no, yo no hice la lavada, ¿verdad? Yo no hice la lavada o, o no estuve lavando. I didn't do laundry. The second one. You got up at noon. What is the meaning? You got up at noon. What is the meaning of got up? Levantaste. Te levantaste. levantaste. Te levantaste a medianoche. Levantarse, yes. Usted o tú te levantaste a la medianoche. Go up. Mediodía. Creo que o mediodía, no. noon. What is the meaning of noon? Medianoche. 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 Okay. okay. Now, you didn't get up at 10. You didn't get up at 10. What is the meaning? No te levantaste. Tú no te levantaste a las 10. Tú no te levantaste a las 10. Aquí podemos ver el verbo en pasado, you got up. El get cambia, la e cambia a o cuando es en irregular, verbos irregulares. Ahí los tienen en su lista. Dice you got up 
at noon. Si usted dice, you get up at noon, es que usted está en el presente, ¿verdad? Como que usted se levantó o se va a levantar. Pero es otro tipo de estructura. Pero aquí dice que se levantó. Es el pasado. Entonces va a ser, you got up at noon. En, aquí como es el negativo, lleva el verbo normal, get up. Get up. El get up significa levantarse. Yes? Yeah. Now, number three. He okay, went. Yes, tell me. In this case, for example, what is the difference in the verse between wake up and get up? Okay, es casi similar. Pero el, el wake up es bajarse ya de la cama. Ah, ok. Ajá, el, esto es, significa como despertarse. Uh -huh. En otras palabras, get up es se despertó. Porque si ven acá no se está levantando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sino que uh -huh. se despertó, okay. digamos, se despertó a esa uh -huh. hora. Y si dice, digo, wake up, yo me levanté, ya se baja de la cama, ya uh -huh. se para al suelo. Y es el wake okay. up es levantarse de una vez de la cama. Y aquí cuando se despertó, pero todavía está pegado a la cama. Okay. So, sí. I can say I get up at 8 o'clock, but I stay in my, in my bed. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. Now, he went to the museum. He went to the museum. Please repeat after me. He went. He went to the. He museum. went to the museum. Went to the museum. Yeah. What is the meaning? Él fue al museo. Fue al museo. Yo fui. Él fue al museo. He didn't go to the library. Él no fue él a la no biblioteca. Fue a la biblioteca. Él no fue a la biblioteca. Next one. We met our classmates. We met our classmate. What is the meaning? Ellos encontraron a sus compañeros de clase. Ellos encontraron a sus compañeros de clase. We didn't meet our teacher. We didn't meet our teacher. Nosotros no encontramos a nuestra maestra. No encontramos a nuestra maestra. Now, you came home late. You came home late. In this case. Llegaste tarde a casa. Él, no, ellos, ellos vinieron tarde a casa. Vinieron tarde, tarde a casa. A casa. Sí, llegaste. Mm -hmm. Yes, o ustedes vinieron tarde a casa. Los dos. Puede ser you para uno o para los dos, ¿verdad? Porque el mismo you, usted, ustedes, this is the meaning. Now, you didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. No viniste temprano a casa. Ustedes no vinieron temprano a casa. Miren, aquí la esté, lo está esperando el papá de ella, por eso está afligida, miren. Aquí está. Scary. Yes. It's scary. It's scary. Yes. They had a picnic. They had a picnic. What is the meaning? They had a picnic. Ellos tuvieron un picnic. Ellos tuvieron, hicieron. Ellos tuvieron un picnic. They didn't have a party. Ellos no tuvieron una fiesta. Ellos no tuvieron una fiesta. Now. Please help me. In which position are? Let me see. Present. You tell me the present. Okay. The first one. What is the verb in present? Did do, or do? Do, do? do. In present is do. In past? Did. 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 Now, what about number two? What is the verb in present? Get. Get, get up. Get. get up. And what is the verb in past? Got up. Got up. Got up. Got up. 
Number three. What is the verb in present? Go. 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 In past? When. 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 Next one. Here. Meet. 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 Meet or met? Met. Met. Met is in past. Meet. 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 Is, is in present. present. Is yes. Present. Meet and met. Meet is in present and met is in past. Okay, let me see. Now, another one here. Oh. What is the present, the verb in present? Home. 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 What is the verb in past? Came. 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 The pronunciation is came. 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 Another one. What is the present? Have. 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 In past? Have. Have. Had. Now, can you tell me another verbs? Take. In present? Take. In past? Took. 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 Another? Took. Yes. Another? Pay. 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 In past? Paid. Pay. Paid. Another? Win. Present? Wait. 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 Break. Repeat Break. ever, please. Break. Pray. Here. Pray. No. Break. Ah. Here. Break. Broke. Broke. Okay. Another? No. I. What, Anita? Which one? No. No. Uh -huh. De no. De... Ah, okay. De no, the saber. In past? New. 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 Another? Buy. Buy? Boat. Boat. Another? Feel. Feel. And felt. Feel yeah. and felt. What is the meaning of feel? Sentir. Sentir. Okay, sentir. What is the meaning of buy? Comprar. Comprar. What is the meaning of know? Conocer o saber. Know and new. Conocer o saber. Break. Quebrar. Quebrar, yes, o romper. Excellent. Now, I need to tell you a true story. It happened to me around 20, 20 years ago. Really? Yes. Please pay attention. My family and I had an accident 20 wow. years ago in which my older daughter, my husband, and I suffered many damaged, many wow. damages. It happened that a tropic gas pipe hit our car wow. and destroyed it completely. And but thanks God he gave us another change to live. Wow, this uh, it yes. was so hard. Yes, it happened to me. Yes, and this is the true story. Wow. Yes, my family and I had an accident 20 years ago in which my older daughter my husband and I suffered many damages. It happened that a tropic gas pipe hit our car and destroyed it completely. But thanks God, he gave us another change to live. 
Yeah. Yeah. In this story, I use uh, all verbs, verbs in past, because it is something that happened before. Yeah. Yeah. Solo verbos en, en pasado, ¿por qué? Porque estoy hablando del pasado, ¿ya? Y aquí he utilizado eh, verbos regulares e irregulares. Aquí está, miren, had is irregular because change. Suffered is regular. Happened, regular. Destroyed, regular. And gave, Irregular. Yes. Yes. Vean qué yeah. importante es cuando lo vamos a utilizar los verbos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Can someone tell me a true story? Can someone share with us the true story? Would you like to share with us the true story? ¿Le gustaría compartir una historia yeah. con nosotros? Una historia que le haya pasado antes o cuando estaba chiquito, que se cayó y su mamá lo le dio con el cincho, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. ¿Algo que quieran compartir? ¿A true story? Well, ¿Algo que recuerden en su to infancia? Be honest with you, <ríe> uh -huh. I have a lot of history. Ok. Can you, would you like to share with us one? A short, short history. Well, I will do. Okay, tell us. Well, when I was a children. When I was a child, cuando era un niño. My father and I. My father. And I. Yes. Walked. 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 Walked around midnight. From my father's house. Uh, middle middle night. From middle night. From my oh, at noon, porque es como oh, la medianoche. Yeah. At noon. Around at noon. Around at noon. From my father's house. Father's house. Yeah. Yeah. To my mother's house. To my mother's house. Yeah. Yeah. And we walked around four kilometers. How many kilometers? Four kilometers. Four kilometers. And and sometimes I felt I felt a little scary. A little scary. Because I told. I told. I, I told. I told. The past of things. I told. I thought. I told. Uh, Let me see. Because I thought. That the siwanaba <laughs> siwanaba because it's, it's a, a, a yeah. name un nombre propio yeah. cool. okay i feel that the siwanaba uh, touched touched me oh my arm <laughs> touch me my arm yeah okay it's a, it was i i was really Okay, excellent. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, excellent. Now, can someone tell us a true story or no? Okay, here we have two true stories. Ya tenemos dos. Now, continue with our class. Aquí podemos ver, utilizamos el was. El was en... ¿En me... mi teacher? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, tell me. Tell us. Uh, in my case, when the... 
eh, Trendy 01. When eh, what? Air, air quite, When I was 21. Eh, earthquake happened. Um, Pero al principio dijo when I was, cuando tuve que. In my case, eh, para no. el terremoto del 2020. Ah. Del 2001. Ajá. Entonces, uh, I, cuando, it happened. Uh -huh. It happened in 2001. Uh -huh. earthquake. Earth, ah, earthquake. Earthquake. Earth, uh -huh. let me see, Earth. quake. Earth, quiero ver cómo se escribe. Earth, quake. You, creo. Let me see. Mm. You, it's okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. For earthquake. Uh, yeah. I was a few days before my um, 50th birthday. Before? Uh, a 50th birthday. 15 años. Ah, ya. Yeah. Before my 15. 15. Uh -huh. When we went to see my grandmother, who was tiring. And when the next day after arriving, uh, the earthquake hit. Um, thanks, good. We were uh, not um, with my brother and my mother, uh, but unfortunately, uh, but my friends and neighbor um, um, died. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's so difficult? Uh -huh. Bastante, entonces todavía se... Thanks to God. Es bien triste. Es yeah, bien triste a, recordar eso. It's a hard history, mm -hmm. Anita. I'm really mm -hmm. sorry for your friends and... <laughs> Thanks. And your neighborhoods too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. It was so difficult, the high quarter in 2001, I think yes. so. For all the country. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Take a, take a rest. Do you have a glass of water over there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We lost your audio, teacher. Teacher, we lost your audio. I don't know what happened. It was so difficult, Anita. Thanks, Nazario. Yeah, it's okay, you're welcome. We lost your audio, teacher. Teacher, we can listen to you. I can hear you, teacher. I don't know what happened with your you. You are quiet, teacher. This is the sound of silence, teacher. No ones? No. You will check your connection, teacher. Now, no. It's okay, teacher. Yes. Si me escucha yes, teacher. Bien. yes, yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, Vaya, pero no me ven, ¿verdad? No. no. Let me see. The camera is off, maybe. Quiero ver qué pasa. Déjeme ver. Sure, okay. 
Now, yes. Yeah. Everything is okay. Complete. Okay, thanks. Done. Okay. Now, uh, continue with a uh, story. Let me see. Now, the, it, it was terrible, but it happened, right? Yes, the sure. Yeah. Now, change for to share the, your stories with us. It's very important, and I'm appreciating it. Now, okay. here we have exercise. Instructions. Write sentences using irregular verbs. Only irregular right. verbs. Please, tell me number one. I need your participation. Okay, teacher. Okay. With irregular verbs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, in past aquí, or present? Yeah, Most. no. Don't worry. Aquí, aquí eh, la, la instrucción es que lo escriban, pero lo vamos a escribir yeah. aquí por el tiempo y ahí les va a quedar para que lo escriban después en su cuaderno. Okay. Yeah. Write sentences using irregular verbs. Pueden ser en presente y en negativo, como lo hemos estado haciendo. Okay. Ya. Yeah. No en presente, sino que en pasado, ¿verdad? Using I, irregular verbs. I... I wrote a history teacher. I wrote a, a history. history. Yeah. Okay. In negative? Me or another one? You, you. I didn't. I didn't. Write a history. Write a history. Okay, another volunteer? Please I tell me. I bought Boat. my yes. I bought my favorite my favorite video game. My favorite video game. In negative. I didn't pay my rent house. <laughs> I didn't pay my rent house. That's the consequence. You're broken. Ah, okay. You're broken one. <laughs> my rent house. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean like me, don't worry. <laughs> I understand. Okay. <laughs> Another sentence. Number three. Can you tell me, please? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. I swan um summer. I swan swan. In the summer. I swan in the summer. In the summer. In the summer, yes. Okay, in negative? I didn't swim. I didn't swim. Uh, I don't remember if I'm the only one. Swim in the summer. In the summer, yes. Okay, Fisher, next one. Here Tell is me. swam with M. M, yeah. ah, swam. Sorry. Okay, thanks a lot. So. I swam in the summer and I didn't swim in the summer. It's okay. Okay, number four. Who helped me? Luis Chavez. Ha estado calladito los dos Luisitos, Luis Chavez y Luis y Luis Montano han estado bien calladitos ahora. No okay, tell me. Okay, could be I I studied English on the week. On weekend. On, on yeah, week. Weekend. On weekend. Okay. On weekend. Negative. Um, I didn't uh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't do exercise. I didn't do exercises. Okay. <laughs> Another one, number five. Me, teacher. Tell me. I play basketball. I played basketball. When? Cuando? On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. In negative, I didn't. I didn't play 
Play. Basketball. No. Basketball. Now. Okay. Next one. Does she room on Chicago, teacher? Last. It's a question. Does, does she run on Chicago? It's a question. Does she run? Run on Chicago. On Chicago. On Chicago. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Así. Yeah. Yes. Pero solo que aquí estamos utilizando el presente. Porque el, el das lo utilizamos solo para presentes. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y ahorita vamos a hacerlo solamente en pasado. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, ajá, solo en pasado. Okay. Yes. Because I okay. need practice with the past. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Los Luisitos, ¿qué se han hecho los Luisitos? Right. Tell me, Luis Montano. Hey, teacher. Hey. Hey. I sent email. Yesterday. I sent an email. Yesterday. I I sent an email yesterday. In negative? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Send. Send. An email today. Ah, aquí es sent. Sent y... Send. Y en, en este es sent. An email yesterday. Today. Yes. Excellent. Today. Excellent. Today. Mm. Now, another? Hi. Yeah, I, I teacher. Tell me. I I went to the gym. I went to the gym. Last day. Last day. El día anterior me quiere decir. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Yesterday and then. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Okay, I went to the gym yesterday. In negative. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. To the gym. To the gym. Yesterday. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Yes, I, I didn't go, teacher. I think so. I didn't. Ah, sé que no le puse. I didn't go. Yes, I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I forgot. Now, number eight. Hi. Hi. Tell me, Luis. I I fell. I fell on motorcycle. Off motorcycle. On. Of my motorcycle, motorcycle. The freedom. What? The freedom. freedom. On Friday. Yes. On Friday. Yes, viernes. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, in negative? Um, es como, es caerba. Yes. Okay, uh, I fall. I, I fold. I fold sería cabales. Fold. Yes. ¿Cómo va fold? F O L. Fold. Hola. Can you tell me in in Can you tell me in feel, pero feel. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, I feel. Según lo que leí es um, ¿Eh? Vea qué vea que dice el verbo. What is the meaning of the verb? Ver, el verbo que ver, está usando. A ver. Ok, pero, pero en felt. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más dice? Así está escrito. No, es según lo que estaba buscando. Eh, era como de como caer. Estaba escrito. How do you F spell? Deletrémelo. F E. L -L. F I L L. Así es, así como está. Así como está ahorita. Es de caer. Es de fall. ¿Ay? Es de past o fall. Fall. 
Uh -huh. en, el, en el pasado, ¿cómo está ese verbo que está utilizando? Y dice que según lo que estaba leyendo ahorita, en el pasado está F-E-L-L. -L, es como de yes, caer. Es un verbo irregular. Present. Es yes. fall. Es F-A-W-L. El present es el present. Y el present. ¿Cómo ven present? How do How do you spell? F A L L. F A L L. Yes. Ah, ok. Y ese lo busqué porque I didn't me pasó el viernes. Ahí de la ah, moto. ok. <laughs> Motorcycle on Entonces, Friday. Yeah. But yes. are you ok? Yes. And then I felt on of my motorcycle on Friday. I didn't fall yeah. off my motorcycle on Friday. Right. Now, another one, please. I woke up. I woke up. On, on 10 o'clock today. At 10 o'clock. Ah, pero es woke up is woke. with O. Yes. No. With O. W, O, K, and E. K. Is the past of wait. Es así como está ahorita. W, O, O, K. O wake up. In, in, in pass. In pass. Yes. Woke up. W, O, Yes, it's do. Okay. I woke up. Yo me levanté. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. I, woke I woke up. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Yesterday. Yes. Okay. In, in past? <laughs> I didn't arrive early. Early. To I my, didn't. To my, Sería, I didn't wake up. No, arrive. Arrive, ok. Arrive, yes. I didn't I arrive. Didn't early. Early. To my work. To my work. Excellent. And the last one, la última. Me. Ok, tell me. She drove. She, she drove. drove. She drove. All day. All day. When? ¿Cuándo? En... ¿Ayer? Ah, uh, yesterday. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, morning. Ah, ok. Oh, yesterday. 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 Okay. ok. She didn't drive all day. She didn't drive, drive all day. day. Mm -hmm. Ok. Do you have any questions about this exercise? Everything oh, is clear? Sure. Ok, vaya aquí. Ok, continues. Aquí vemos, eh, siempre hemos estado con los verbos. Y aquí estamos ya incluyendo los dos, los regulares y los irregulares. ¿Ya? Now, here we have another important situations. When we use simple past yes, no questions. What is the meaning of yes, no questions? ¿Qué recuerdan cuáles son las yes, no questions? Las que decimos sí y no, que son cortitas. For example, here, yes, I did. Yes, I did es una yes, no questions, porque decimos sí o decimos no. Así como acá dice, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Esta es... En forma afirmativa, yes, I did, y no, I didn't, in negative. Esas right. son las yes, no questions. Son las respuestas cortas. Please, pay attention to this extracho. Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? Let me see, solo quiero ver si tengo el audio de este. Simple past, yes, no question. Let me see. No. Then, did you have a good summer? 
Did you have a good summer? What is the meaning? Yeah, teacher. ¿Qué está diciendo? Un buen Did you have a good summer? ¿Tuviste un buen verano? ¿Tuviste un buen verano? Did you have? Aquí el did está utilizado como una, un auxiliar. Cuando son auxiliares, es como que no lo tomamos en cuenta para, para traducir, sino que solamente va acompañado por ser un auxiliar y que demuestra una pregunta. Cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta en pasado, va el auxiliar primero, que es did. Aquí está la fórmula, miren. First, did is this one. Plus subject. Plus subject is you. Es el sujeto. Plus Verb in present. Como ya ve el auxiliar al inicio, el verbo va a ir en presente. Plus complement, el complemento. Dice, did you have a good summer? ¿Tuviste un buen verano? ¿Tuviste un buen verano? Aquí la clave para que usted pueda entender lo que dice o traducirlo es ver el verbo. He will have, have. And have, what is the meaning of have? Tener. 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 Entonces dice, ¿tuviste un buen verano? ¿Tuviste un buen verano? La respuesta, la de yes, no question, sería aquí. Yes, I did. Sí, lo tuve. Es como decir, sí, lo tuve. O decimos, sí, sí. Y le ponemos I did, sí, lo tuve. Como le está preguntando a él, did you? Va para él la pregunta. Entonces le dice, yes, I did. Sí, lo tuve. O sí, simplemente sí, pero le ponemos el I did. Es como que diga, sí, lo tuve. I had a great summer. Yo tuve un gran verano, un maravilloso verano. I had. Aquí el verbo ya cambió, miren. Porque aquí es una oración normal. Ya no va... El auxiliar did, dice, sí, yo tuve, I had, had es, de, es el pasado de have, have and had, a great summer, sí, dice, lo tuve, yo tuve, I had a great summer, tuve un excelente o un grandioso verano. Number two, did you play volleyball? Did you play volleyball? What is the meaning of this question? What is the meaning? Can you tell me? Jugaste volleyball. Did you play volleyball? Jugaste volleyball? No, I didn't. No, le dice no jugué. No, I didn't. En I didn't es como que diga no, no jugué. No, I didn't. Aquí está, miren, el negativo, no. Y el did not, o el didn't, que es la negación, no, I didn't. I played tennis. I played tennis. Here we have the verb in past. Yo jugué tenis. I played tennis. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Next one. Did Erika like her vacation? Did Erika like her vacation? ¿Le gustó a Erika su vacación? Like es gustar. ¿Le gustó a Erika su vacación? Her vacation. ¿Le gustó su vacación? ¿Cuál, es, cuál sería la yes? La yes question acá. Yes, she did. Porque como estamos preguntando con el did, la respuesta corta siempre va a ser, va a ser yes, el sujeto y el auxiliar, que es el did. Yes, she did. She liked, she liked it a lot. She liked it a lot. A ella le gustó mucho. Now, did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? Negative, no, they didn't. 
No they didn't. Dice que si a Erika y su hermana, que si Erika y su hermano fueron a Colorado, go to Colorado. No they didn't, no ellas no fueron. They went to Arizona. Ellas fueron a Arizona. They went to Arizona. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any questions about these structures? Preguntas? No, Siempre la, la yes no question son las cortas, ya, ya sea sí o no. Yes, I did. Si está preguntando con did, yes, I did. O no, I didn't. Cuando es negativo. Look at these examples. Did you speak French yesterday? This is an example. Did you speak French yesterday? Dice, ¿habló usted o habló francés ayer? ¿Cuál sería la yes no question? La respuesta corta, ¿cuál sería? Aquí, no, you didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Porque es como que yo le pregunte a Anita, por ejemplo. Le digo yo, Anita, did you speak French yesterday? Anita, ¿usted habló ayer francés? Usted me va a decir, no, I didn't. No, no lo hice. Aquí está, miren, no, I didn't. ¿Ve? No, no lo hice. But I wrote. Aquí les he puesto los... Verbos en paréntesis, los verbos en presente. Y usted lo va a cambiar a pasado. Miren, no, I didn't. But I wrote in my notebook. And I watched English movies. No, no lo hice o no, no hablé, me dice Anita. Pero yo escribí en mi cuaderno y vi películas en inglés. ¿Ya? Mañana vamos a continuar con esta parte. Mañana vamos a continuar haciendo ejercicios yeah, de esta parte con las yes no questions. ¿Ya? Ahorita solamente quería explicar la estructura. Mañana vamos a escuchar el audio y vamos a continuar con esto. Because para this que part ustedes teacher, me den. Ajá, this que part ustedes teacher, me den. Sorry, teacher. This part is only, is only for first person singular. And maybe you will explain tomorrow about the third person singular. Yes, 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 tomorrow I, I explain you about a little bit more yeah. about this, this topic, this important topic. Yeah. Do you have any questions now? No. No? Okay. And then we will continue tomorrow. And yeah. don't, don't forget that it's very important. Do the, your homework in the platform. Vayan haciendo los ejercicios porque la otra semana solamente nos quedan dos días, 27 y 28, que es lunes y martes. Entonces mañana vamos a terminar ya esta unidad y vamos con la otra. Ya el jueves la iniciamos la otra unidad. ¿Cuál tenemos que hacer esta semana? Esta semana van a terminar esta, la unidad 3, la sección 3. Y yes, esto, todo lo que estamos viendo ahorita, esto ya pueden ir adelantando en la plataforma para que no se vayan a atrasar. ¿Ya? Ok. ¿Yo qué? Son cuatro grupos. And then, thanks for coming and see you tomorrow. Recuerden que si tienen duda del, del material que les mandé, del uso del do, el das y el did, escríbanme. Como nadie me ha escrito, yo pienso que lo han entendido así como se los mandé. Pero si no es así, escríbanme o mándeme audio al personal si gustan. Mándeme audio, yo con mucho gusto les explico. Right? Sí, sí. Ok. Ok, thank you. okay. see you tomorrow. And have see a nice tomorrow. night. Bye. Bye. Thanks Bye. for coming. Good night. And God... Good night. Good night. Good night.